they keep lining themselves up, man, like dominoes, one after another. You see it right here, now next to me. The North Face decided to join. I mean, not even decided to join. Man, they went full mother effing send on this ad. This is the most, I mean, I don't even know any kind of gay person who's this kind of flamboyant. This is almost like a joke, almost like gay face. And then it has like this weird kind of 80s vibe to it as well. I mean, obviously from the clothing and the big hair and all that. But just watch this. Let me put my headphones on real quick. Like, I watched this already. And like, I thought I would make a... um. Try not to rage challenge. You just see me like shaking. But maybe that's a little too much for most people. I promise you this shit. Like, dude, it is no wonder so many little kids get fucking pushed over by a gust of wind. Hi, it's me, Patagonia, a real life homosexual. And today I'm here with the North Face. We are here to invite you to come out in nature with us. Wow, this is nice. We like to call this little tour the Summer of Pride. This tour has everything. Hiking, community, art, lesbians, lesbians making art. Last year, we gay saw shade across the nation and celebrated pride across the nation with hundreds of you across the nation. This year, we're back, back, back again with two new stops. Atlanta, GA. Make up. Do you know anybody who, who acts like this? I don't, but maybe that's just because I'm too rough to be around for anybody to even act like that. I, I just, it seems fake, man. Like, I, in no way can I even believe that somebody wants to behave in this manner. And again, maybe that's just me, but this comes off as like just so unnatural, like so fake, like it's a script. It's like... What what's really going on, man? I'll just let it play out though. Why? Because you're there. In Salt Lake City, we're coming for you. Howdy, can we go? Of course. This year, all these fabulous speakers will be coming from inside. Like that's so gross. The nails, the white makeup on the face, the inside this TV to a nature near you. So come outside and celebrate the beautiful LGHG TV community. It's pretty gay. Yo, that is definitely gay. Definitely gay. So what do you think? Do you think uh, that every single company is just going to keep doing this? Every single one? Because it was pointed out to me, like, how are you going to be able to boycott everything? Like, if your local gas station is just all gay, well, you're just not going to buy gas. It's, it's getting to the point where they were like, you know what? They tried boycotting one company. Fuck it. They're all gay now. Like, dude, come on, bro. It's like what? It's like less than like 20% of the population's gay or it is around 20%, something like that. You, you're, willing, you're willing to piss off the majority of the market or at least be abrasive to the majority of the market for, for a fifth of the population for a chance that they will have or see this advertisement and then go purchase. It's just like, it's so, it's suffocating, dude. It's toxic. It's like, stop with this shit, man. Like, be more open. Next time you see somebody out in public who's acting like that, be like, dude, you're, you're ridiculous. You're a literal effing clown. I need you to go figure out what kind of mental illness you have and stop parading around and then telling me I'm the bad guy when I am so uncomfortable, I, I, I feel so out of place trying to have any kind of social interaction. Because, like, man, imagine if the town jester came up to you and was praying around you in public square. You'd be like, what's going on? I, I don't, what's happening? Makeup? Is this, uh, uh it's bullshit, dude. Peace.